We need to remove the old wallpaper and spackle the whole of this wall. This requires some practice, but here we'll give you a couple of useful tips to help you achieve a good result. Cover the floor with a paper dust sheet to avoid having to scrape away spilled spackle when you have finished. For this job, you will need wide filling knives of different sizes, pliers, a knife, a scraper, a sanding tool with sandpaper and an extension pole. Begin with the scraper, remove all loose wallpaper. Make clean cuts at the borders. Make sure that the wall is free from any nails and screws. Sand the wall before you begin to prevent any loose remains of wallpaper from ruining the spackling result. It is now time to spackle the entire wall. Begin by applying spackle. Spread the spackle upwards using even strokes. Switch to a wider filling knife and even out the spackle. The trick is to apply a lot of pressure on the left-hand side of the knife and no pressure on the right side. This will help you spread the spackle evenly and prevent any ridges forming. Let the spackle dry in accordance with the manufacturer's directions. Once the spackle has dried, sand the whole wall until you achieve a smooth and even surface. Brush off the dust and vacuum both the wall and floor. 